Hello students. Today we are going to do a method through which you can find the zeros of a large polynomial like this is a polynomial of degree 4. So it has 4 zeros. Now I want to find the zeros of this polynomial. So only method which is taught at school level is hit and trial method wherein we have to substitute any value of x here and hope that the answer comes out to be 0. So that takes a lot of time if the zeros are large. So we need to have a method through which you can find the zeros of such a large polynomial. Of course the method which we are going to use will involve only rational zeros. We are not dealing with polynomials which has irrational zeros or irrational factors. Now this theorem is popularly known as rational zeros theorem. Now we are going to use this rational zeros theorem to know what are the various factors with, uh, uh, zeros of this polynomial. Now let us start this method. First of all we need to see the constant term. Now in this polynomial you can see that the constant term is 6. Now we will find all the divisors of 6 divisors of this constant term. So the divisors are 1, 2, 3 and 6. So these are the 4 divisors of this constant term. These divisors we will label by P and these divisors can be in plus minus form that is plus 1 or minus 1 plus 2 or minus 2 plus 3 or minus 3 plus 6 or minus 6 so these are possible values of p now to find the possible values of q just see this is the leading term leading term is the first term of the polynomial now leading term here is 2 so Again we find the divisors of 2 and label these divisors as Q. Now you know that 2 comes in the table of 1 and 2 itself. So these are the possible divisors of 2. Now we have the possible divisors of the constant term and the leading term labeled as P and Q. So we find the values of P upon so what are the various possible values of P upon Q? Now first of all take plus minus. We, we are taking 1, P as 1 and Q as 1. Then P as 1 and Q as 2. Similarly carry on with the procedure. P as 2, Q as 1, P as 2, Q as 2. P as 3, Q as 1, P as 3, Q as 2, P as 6, Q as 1 and P as 6, Q as 2. So I have labeled all the possible values of P upon Q. Now these values are C plus minus 1. I will reduce them to simplest form. So plus minus 1, plus minus 1 by 2, plus minus 2. Now if you simplify this, this will come out to be plus minus 1. So I have already written plus minus 1. So you can eliminate this. Plus minus 3. Plus minus 3 by 2. Plus minus 6. And if you calculate this, plus minus 6 upon 2. 6 upon 2 is 3. So plus minus 3 I have already written. So you can eliminate this also. Now these are 12 possible values of p upon q and our solution the zeros of this polynomial that is the four zeros are amongst these values itself. Now you are restricted to checking whether these values are zeros of this polynomial or not. So our hit and trial method becomes much easier now. We have selected values which we have to check. Now for checking these values whether they are zeros of this or not, 
we will use the method of synthetic division now synthetic division will allow you to check whether one of these values is a zero of this or not so i am checking this i am taking a first of all plus 1 so i am checking by plus 1 write the coefficients of all the terms of this polynomial say 2 3 -12 -7 and 6 i have written all the coefficients now i am checking plus 1 whether it is a zero or not so through synthetic division this 2 comes down as it is 2 into 1 gives 2 3 plus 2 is 5 5 into 1 gives 5. Minus 12 plus 5 is minus 7. Minus 7 into 1 minus 7. Minus 7 minus 7 is minus 14. So minus 14 into 1 minus 14, and this gives us minus 8. And the last term is not equal to 0. Therefore, x equal to 1 is not a z. So I have checked. One is not a zero of this polynomial. Similarly, you can go on and check minus one plus half minus half plus two minus two plus three minus three. Little knowledge of this synthetic division can uh, enable you to find the four zeros very quickly because this synthetic division takes only ten seconds for one value. Now let us check for other values as well. I will take the second value. This is minus one. Now for minus one, I will write minus one here. Same coefficients. Two comes down. Two into minus one is minus two. Three minus two is one. One into minus one is minus one. So minus thirteen. Multiply thirteen. Subtract six. Six into minus one minus six. Six minus six zero. and this is what we are looking for if the last term is zero then x equal to minus 1 is a zero of px so i have got one value which is a zero of px likewise you can check other values also say i am checking for 2 same synthetic division say i am checking for 2 the coefficients are 2 3 minus 12 minus 7 and 6 2 comes down 2 into 2 4 add 7 7 to the 14 2 2 to the 4 minus 3 minus 3 into 2 minus 6 6 minus 6 0 again i have obtained 0 therefore x equal to this value 2 is a zero of this polynomial so likewise you can carry on checking with all these values and arrive at the result that the four zeros of this polynomial are x equal to minus 1 was one of the zeros x equal to 2 is one of the zeros and if you carry on checking like this you will find that minus 3 is again a zero and half is again a zero so all the four zeros can be obtained using this rational zeros theorem now for this method you need to be well conversant up with the method of synthetic division for one division you should take only 10 seconds so 10 10 10 10 if you check all six also you can do that in one or two minutes time whereas solving this by hit and trial method will consume at least three times the original time taken by this method so keep learning and keep enjoying share and subscribe the channel if you like it